A rumored battle has been said to be taking place in Asarok as several aides of the vice president have been sacked by the presidency. What is going on? And our leaders are out of touch. Are they out of touch? Because the Minister of Works and Housing says to the citizens have exaggerated the bad roads, saying that they are not as bad as we portray them. Well, we'll get to find out this and more because this is Plus Politics. And I am Mary Anna Cohn. Tensions are rumored to be heightening in the country. Uh, the country's seat of power as multiple presidency sources confirmed the sack of the aides of the vice president, Yemi Oshimbajo. And now the number of the aides have not been confirmed. A newspaper daily had stated that the number stands at 35. It was learned that the vice president had allegedly more aides than President Buhari, some of whom were appointed while he was the acting president when Buhari was in London in 2017. The, what is the cause of this conflict between the president and the vice president? Well, to discuss this with me in the studio, I've been joined by Olaleko Adigun. He's a political analyst. It's good to have you join us. Thank you very much. All right. So. Of course, uh, everybody's trying to demystify the allegations and uh, the whisperings in uh, the Asso Rock Villa about what's going on between the vice president and the presidency. But again, the, to give the president a benefit of a doubt, and I'm not in any way trying to you know, um, hold brief for the presidency, but the president is out of the country. And the vice president, obviously, is supposed to take the reins of power. Could it, 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 it appears that the vice president has no idea that these people were going to be sacked? Or could it be that he appended his signature to those sackings? Yes, thank you very much for your question. Because when you, first of all, we need to uh, be clear on what the presidency is. Mm -hmm. The presidency is an institution mm -hmm. that is responsible for overseeing the executive branch of government of a nation in a presidential system. Despite the fact that we introduced the presidential system of government in the 1979 constitution borrowed from America, mm -hmm. a lot of Nigerians still don't know how the presidency works in a presidential system of government. Uh, would you, you like to educate us now, on how that works? Now, now, like I said, a lot of Nigerians still don't know because in the, office, in the presidency, you have the office of the president, the office of the vice president, the chief of staff to the president, the chief of staff to the vice president, and a retinue of aides appointed at the pleasure of the president or the vice president. In this regard, you will, it's normal for you to have some, uh, uh, some kind of rifts, as mm -hmm. uh, the, the, the media has uh, tried, to, tried to portray it. But these are two persons with, the, uh, with, with, with personalities that have respect mutual respect for each other but this ha this been a thing and it's it's nation it's it's international that the vice president or a deputy governor or the deputy councilman is a yes man is a yes guy he does not necessarily wield any powers per se hence the reason why sometimes there's a lot of headbutting in that office you will agree with me that you cannot be in office. I'm even sure in, in, in Plus TV Africa, you probably have misunderstanding over the uh, clarity of roles or in discharging your duties over time. But that doesn't mean that you wouldn't work with them or you are not working uh, in mutual. But uh, that does not come to play well when eh, I will not be arguing with my producer or my intern right on, on the show. We keep it on the wraps. But if it's beginning to play on the national scene so much so that there's so much suspicion and people are beginning to speculate, that is when there is a problem, isn't it? That is because we have, a me we have very, very vibrant media that want to speculate a lot of issues that is going on in presidency. The presidency is one of the most covered part of ni our national political life. So you have, you have very, almost all stations stationed in the presidency, so it's normal to come up with so many stories. Talking uh, about normal, I'm sorry to speak over you, talking about normal, normal is if the president is out of the country, okay. the vice president is supposed to automatically take over, not necessarily become the president, but of course power is handed to him. He takes over until the presidency shows up. Now, the only time he becomes acting president or he has to constitutionally take the reins of power is if the president is incapacitated or if he's dead. But in this case, it seems like there's a lot of, there are a lot of hands in the pudding as we speak. Hence, the vice president seemingly looking, I mean, from the outside in, is being pushed to the corner. Like I said, like, like I was saying the other time, uh, it's 
fairly uh, uh, normal for these things to happen. If you look at Section 145 of the Constitution, it talks about transmission. When the president is temporarily incapacitated, mm -hmm. in that regard, the president will transmit to the National Assembly that he is handing over to an acting president who will serve in, capacity, uh, who will serve in that capacity. Now, a vice president cannot sign a bill and it becomes a law. Because if you look at what is going to happen when the National Assembly transmits that bill to the presidency is transmitted to the acting president mm -hmm. who can sign it to become a law. But when Buhari was going out of the country, he went out without transmitting. That means he can actually still sign the, uh, the bill from anywhere. The president can preside from anywhere. We need, we need not disabuse. Well, uh, well, we'll talk more about this part of the constitution and the president's presiding over anything from any part of the country. We'll take a short break and when we come back, it's still Plus Politics. I'll be having another guest join us. Stay with us.